this is something that we deal with in Indiana because we have clay soil. And a lot of people say, well, what kind of grass seed do you need to use? Well, on clay, in northern Indiana, we need turf type tall fescue because of the soil. Now, if you have really black soil, then I would say, never mind, you need Kentucky bluegrass, premium varieties of Kentucky blue, maybe a little bit of rye. But uh, anyways, so this is just some observations of, uh, of this lawn. And uh, I'm, I don't wanna say your name on the video because it's gonna go on YouTube, but I'm gonna be sending you this in, a, in an email. If you have any questions, just give us a call. All right, you guys enjoy, have a good day. So here's uh, an overview video of the backyard. The light brown grass is Kentucky bluegrass. The circular clumps of grass are called clump fescue or tall fescue. So all the light colored circles are all clump fescue and all the darker colored grass in the camera is bluegrass. Here you can see a line on the bottom of the screen. Everything below that line is clump fescue. You have a channel of bluegrass and above it is clump fescue. It's circular clumps of tall fescue. With bluegrass in between, almost like islands. Islands of clump fescue amongst an ocean of Kentucky bluegrass that is not doing very well. It looks like it's heat stressed. It's got remnants of uh, dead fungus, but that makes sense because we had rains recently. And whenever we have heavy clay compaction in bluegrass, we always get fungus that invades. It's a light tan color now, it's not orange. So the light tan color means that the fungus is no longer here and that's a good thing today's September 1st 2022 when I look up here at the front lawn I can tell you that the majority of this grass is turf type tall fescue so somebody has introduced some good seed on this lawn at, at one time you still have some clumps of the water blade grass right there right there etc and then you get these areas of the uh, not so good bluegrass that may even be poana but uh i see kentucky blue in here and i see turf type tall fescue and that would explain why you see color variations throughout this lawn so somebody has done a decent job up front installing the uh, turf type tall fescue but for some reason the uh, the back has been neglected with uh with seeding apparently so I'm about uh, two thirds of the way done with this particular property here on the aerator machine. And the cool thing about this aerator is that when I put down this grass seed, it goes into the holes that, uh, uh, that these plugs came out of. So we're getting pretty good plugs. You got decent soil con or uh, decent moisture content. So it's not too bad. Um, my prescription for this back lawn will be he'll probably have to do this again for this area back here next year uh the front and the sides are are good those will be good but b this would be my area of concern going into the future and so anyways it's one step at a time but that's my progress so far in my recommendations okay